For this build you need a power planer, a router, a sander or a belt sander, a hand planer, a normal hammer, some chisels, fairly big clamps and some epoxy glue, two coming in. Now for this next project I'm gonna be building the dummy a little bit different than the ones I've already done on YouTube. This will be or consist of four pieces of timber 11 by 11 centimeters and it will be a new way to build a wooden dummy. I was so lucky to run into some Burma tick from a company that went bankrupt so I've just glued these together to get the 11 by 11 centimeters. Now it's very important that these pieces are 100% square. You can get a local carpenter to make these pieces for you. And the rest you can actually do yourself with a router, a chisel, hammer and a few hand tools. Now let's start. Once you have all squares 11 by 11 centimeters. You need to just put them together. You need to think about what will be your front and what will be your back. Um, this will be the back. As you can see, the timber is not looking the best here, so I've chosen this to be the back of the wooden dummy. As you can see, it all fits nice together. And we'll start by putting on some clamps. Make sure you clearly mark the four posts so you know which ones fit together. Support. This will be the center. I'm not going to make the two top arms. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit difficult to, to figure out the angles and whatnot, so I'm going to make those when uh, the whole dummy is nice and round. Center part and the leg and the bottom horizontal support. Now I'm using one of these to get the angle right on both lines. So I'm going to make those lines all the way around the timber. When you do all these markings, make sure that you clamp it well together so the four pieces uh, don't move. If they start to move, well, your lines are not going to line up anymore. So that's important that you, when you do the markings, clamp them solid together so they don't move. Now I have connected all the lines for the center pin and the leg. For the horizontal ones, I'm not going to connect those, it's not necessary because I only need this part right here. This is where it goes through. Now I'm going to remove the clamps. So they only clamp on the front part, I'm oh sorry, the back part, and the front part. So I'm just going to remove that one as well. I put on the back part. Now that's done. Make sure that they don't move. So the lines still line up. So now I should be able to move the top part yep. and put them next to each other.
I'm only going to use the back part. Now this is the back part. Just connect the lines again. And this is where the horizontal will fit into. Now we'll set up the router. I'm going to use one of these bits. When you put this tool in, make sure you push it all the way up. Don't leave it out here, but push it all the way up like that. Just a few things regards to safety when you work with a router. This is a very dangerous tool, so you need to respect it. Um, when you secure the drill bit part, uh, or take it off, or for any reason, you got your fingers down here, always take the power off so it can't start by accident. It will take your fingers right off. Now you can see the arrow here and that means that the router goes this way as you can see on this drawing it goes this way so that means that to be safe you need to stand on this side and push the router that way as shown here that will create a force that goes in the opposite direction you push forward and the router wants to go towards you. This is the best way to go. Now we're going to start using the router. Find a piece of timber or anything that's straight. Um, I put this exactly 6.1 centimeters from the line because I know exactly that from here to that part right there is exactly 6.1 so something like this now I'm gonna take about three centimeters in depth but I can't do that uh, in one go it's simply just too much so we'll take about half and run that through first. Now it's secure. Remember to use safety goggles at all times when you work with this kind of machine. Now I have made the first run. Nice and smooth and straight edge. The depth is about almost two centimeters. I'm gonna go for three. The first run, I always go a bit deeper. Um, so about two centimeters and the last centimeters will we do here with the second run.